day I pictured his family and wondered why or how. How could I have let this happen? Ryan Morales, the men held responsible in the death of six family members in an October 2013 crash in Lodi, was sentenced in court Monday morning. How could I have been so stupid? Morales wept as he read from a written statement. Morales was found guilty in February for the death of six family members in an October 2013 crash on Ham Avenue in Lodi. His blood alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit, according to authorities, and his vehicle reached speeds of over 90 miles per hour at the time of impact. Officials say the impact was so severe, the needle of the speedometer was jammed at 100 miles per hour. The world has every right to hate me. Among the members of the Miranda family who fell victim to the tragedy were husband and wife Luis and Viviana. Viviana was expecting another child. Three of the four children in the vehicle were also killed in the crash. The sole survivor, who investigators say gave them strength to continue in the case, Eden Miranda, was orphaned by the crash. He has since been adopted by his godparents and moved out of state. A woman who identified herself as Morales' aunt pleaded for mercy in his sentencing, saying the entire incident was a mistake and that Morales would never intentionally harm someone. I disagree. I'm, we went to the house and found 11 bottles of vodka there, and we know that that wasn't all done in one day. Michael Rasmussen, a deputy district attorney in San Joaquin County, had this to say. This is by far the most horrific vehicular murder or manslaughter case this county has ever seen. The victims, the list of victims in this case are incredible. More than just Luis, Viviana, Irving, Stephanie, Jose, the baby fetus, and Eden, and the Romero family. You saw the testimony of the, the witnesses that came in here. Dr. Uh, Primack, a cardiologist, you saw how it affected him. All the other witnesses, they, they were traumatized by this. The, the city town of Lodi is still recovering from this. This is one of the most horrific things that I've ever seen in my life, and hopefully I never see another thing uh, even close to this. There are no winners in this. Everyone loses. The city of Lodi, the Miranda family, the Morales family. Rasmussen asked for the maximum sentence possible, stating that Morales was not capable of making good decisions and posed a threat to the public. Morales had a prior DUI conviction referenced several times during the sentencing. As you see through the probation officer's report, Ms. Morales has, hasn't made the right decision in his life. He is a threat to the community. I don't think he's going to go out and pick up a gun and start shooting people, but he can't make the right decision. He needs to be behind bars. He needs to be behind bars for the rest of his life, and we're asking that you run all uh, the first six counts consecutive, and then we ask for the GBI and uh, vehicular, excuse me, DUI um, penalties as it stands to Eden. Uh, and with that, Your Honor, we'd submit it. Mr. Morales' total term of imprisonment shall be 98 years to life in the state prison. I lost my daughter nearly six years ago to a drunk driver. And every one of these touches me. I feel every one of these. I feel the pain of their victims, of their friends, of what it does for them. Barbara Little, a representative for Mothers Against Drunk Driving, attended the sentencing Monday. Now that everything's come to an end and he suddenly realizes that he's not going to get away with this, all of a sudden there are some I'm sorry's. Yeah, you're sorry you got caught, you're sorry this happened, but you weren't sorry that day when you were drinking, you weren't sorry about how you were driving and, and whose lives were in effect. There was a school right there. Who knows how many people could have been lost that day? What are we all going to learn from this case? In this case, six people died. How many people, what can we do to save other lives? This is the important thing we have to learn so that they did not die for nothing. That's it.